Arnold Sundgaard, The Lamb and the Butterfly. Pictures by Eric Carle. A lamb and a butterfly met one day. In the middle of a meadow, the lamb asked the butterfly, Where is your mother? The butterfly answered, I haven't the slightest idea. My mother flies one way while I fly another. And with a zig and a zag and a ziggity zag, the butterfly fluttered away and landed on a dandelion. The lamb kicked up her heels and ran after him. Where is your home? The lamb asked the butterfly. The world is my home, answered the butterfly. I am free to fly anywhere. And with a zig and a zag and a ziggity zag, the butterfly fluttered away and landed on a bristle thistle. The lamb kicked up her heels and ran after him. But where do you sleep? The lamb asked the butterfly. I sleep where I please, said the butterfly to the lamb. Wherever I am, well, that's where I sleep. And with a zig and a zag and a ziggity zag, the butterfly fluttered away and landed on a poppy. The lamb kicked up her heels and ran after him. Why do you flutter so? The lamb asked the butterfly. Why shouldn't I flutter? The butterfly asked in reply. Well, lambs don't flutter, said the lamb to the butterfly. We walk in a straight line. One follows the other, but I don't follow anyone, said the butterfly to the lamb. I go wherever I choose, and now I choose to leave this meadow. And with a zig and a zag and a ziggity zag, the butterfly left the meadow and landed on a sunflower. The lamb ran after him. Come back, come back, she cried. I want to ask you a question. What is your question? The butterfly asked the lamb. Please don't leave me, the lamb implored the butterfly. That's not a question, said the butterfly to the lamb. Put it in a form of a question. And the lamb said, why don't you stay with me? My mother will take care of you. With a zig and a zag and a ziggity zag, the butterfly flew into the sky. I don't need anyone to take care of me, said the butterfly to the lamb. I'm on my way, he cried. Goodbye, goodbye. But at that very moment, a fierce black cloud darkened the sky and rain began to fall. An angry gust of wind caught the butterfly's wings and he was swept out of sight. Then the lamb heard her mother bleeding, and she hurried to her side. What were you doing at the far end of the meadow? The mother asked the lamb. I followed a butterfly, said the lamb to her mother, and now he is lost in the storm. Poor butterfly, said the mother to the lamb. But that's what happens when you go fluttering this way and that. But now I will never see him again, said the lamb to her mother. He is gone forever. And then the mother asked, what is that on your back? What is what on my back? The lamb asked her mother. Isn't that a butterfly? The mother asked the lamb. And she was right. Sure enough, there on the back of the lamb was the butterfly himself. His wings were wet and bedraggled. He looked as though he would never fly again. Now will you stay? The lamb asked the butterfly. Let me think about it, said the butterfly to the lamb as he dried out his wings. By now, the sun had come out. Slowly, the butterfly tried to flutter with a zig, 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 and a zag, 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 and a ziggity, ziggity, zig, zag. He managed to reach the honeysuckle vine. In one of its blossoms, he found a pool of nectar, and he sipped, and he sipped, and he sipped, until he felt strong again. What have you decided? The lamb asked the butterfly. I'd like to stay, said the butterfly to the lamb, but I really must be on my way. I'm heading south, you know. But why go south? cried the lamb. Because I don't have a woolly coat like yours to keep me warm. If I stayed here, I'd freeze. 
Well, if that is so, said the lamb to the butterfly, I won't try to stop you. Please don't think me ungrateful, said the butterfly to the lamb, and spreading his wings in the splendid act of flight, he zigged and he zagged and he ziggity zagged, and soon was lost from sight. This time the lamb did not kick up her heels and run after him. She walked instead to her mother's side and never asked a butterfly to join a flock of sheep again. The end.